it's a point of view about life that questions should always be just what is with you at every moment of life. It's not that questions are things you do only when you're confused or only when there's an exam or only when you know you're, 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 there's something negative about it. But a question is just the way you, you see the world. And so, I mean, I, I never without questions. And in, by the way, in my own classes, one thing I do in my classes, which I think is a, a, a very good strategy, is that instead of saying, are there any questions? I want there always to be questions. So what I'll say is, talk to your neighbor, take two minutes and write down two questions. So I want everybody to have questions all the time. And then they write down those questions and I just point to them and say, read me your questions. So everybody thinking about questions is a habit of mind. It's a way of looking at the world. And it's, it's sort of interesting because if, a, if, for example, a student feels that they are on the hook for asking a question, they have to listen more attentively because they're engaged to see here not only what's being said, but what's not being said that they can ask the question about. My professional goal is to help people to flourish, to get them to be able to see possibilities that they never saw before. I mean, I think the opportunities for human beings are immense. And I see it every day. I'm privileged to see it in my classes, where I see these students come in and have their eyes open to being able to do things that they could never imagine they could do before. I think people just have possibilities way beyond what they're, uh, they often think that they can do. And if I can help them to actually see that and to experience it, well, that's great.